Toilet training on the boat 125. <laughs> Oh, that's the sound of something wrong. I'm pretty sure I know what it is. Also, our spray hood gets a good clean. And we take down all our canvas to do some repairs and some alterations. Living in Turkey in the winter isn't all sunny dream days with lemon flowers and lemons growing on trees and fantastic views across the marina to the mountains in the distance. There's still maintenance to do. Oh, that's the sound of something wrong. I'm pretty sure I know what it is. There's the motor down here and the macerator pump. What I think's happened is the O-ring or the lip seal that's on the macerator pump has failed and it's allowed water into the end bearing of the electric motor. Now we can't get the spare parts off the shelf here but we were able to get a complete new pump and assembly. Now I've uh, hurt my back which means I can't kneel down here and take it out. So Cindy's going to do it. One thing with these toilets, this paint always peels off. We've done this twice now. Hey ho. Uh, there's a new pump assembly. It comes with a new base. Underneath there is the electrical pump. That's the macerator and the outlet. This is the water inlet. And that goes up to the bowl. And it's easier to change the whole thing rather than try and take these screws out, take the macerator out, fix the O-ring, put it back in. So when that other one comes out, we will have a look at what's wrong with it and see if we can order spares. That will then give us a spare pump and motor. But meanwhile, we'll have a new one fitted. The first thing you need to do is take the caps off of the screws underneath that bowl. So you take a flat screwdriver, you can get them off. I think they're an Allen key, aren't they? Socket head? Yeah. Okay, I'll get you a socket. You want to cut the cable and leave a little bit of the red and black on. So the other side of those crimps, because they're waterproof crimps, and cut them one at a time. You can actually sit on the loo to do the work. It could do. Okay, so that's it. It's not they're not too bad for lime skull. No. But that's you do clean it out. Clean it out. It. Right, so we need to dry out where that water's come underneath because when you undo those nuts, sorry, undo those bolts, they go through into a part of the bilge that's really difficult to get at. So we don't want water to go through there. <laughs> Uh, it's only lime scale, it's not poo. <laughs> and then that's it, just undo those four bolts. Now they go down through the fiberglass and into a piece of marine ply. And they are sealed in. So, because we've got a wet room, water goes everywhere in here. The idea is they're sealed in. Could do with a socket, really. Yeah. Where are they? Uh underneath the front bed in the socket box. But you won't you won't get the back two with a, with a socket anyway, so that one's probably the most tricky one to get to because it's right underneath the pump housing. And you've got it's to coming. get it all, it's coming. Got to get it all the way out. Uh, here's the pump out. And you can see that there's water stains here, um, which is a telltale sign that water's got out of this pump macerator and then come into the bearing 
So I'm going to take this off now and check it. So the new holes don't line up with the old holes. So I've had to do some gel coat repairs, try and accelerate them up so that we can get the toilet on tonight. before it gets too dark. So you want to wrap it, wrap the... Um, <laughs> dog hair. <laughs> <laughs> dog hair's on everything. I wrap it round clockwise. I probably look really cack-handed to, <laughs> to a lot of those guys out yeah, there. Yeah, but you're doing it, darling. <laughs> and then it, do, it doesn't, what you're trying to do is make, the, make it slightly thicker at the the root of the thread than you are at the end okay. so that as it screws on it's it, se it seals it off what's happened there? it's just got twisted PTFT tapes a bit that'll do you, well done does it just break? yeah just pull it that's it and then that tile end there and then this elbow screws on And if it's not exactly in the right place, it will actually turn round because that rubber gland. Mm -hmm. That's it. Okay. Yeah. What you've got to be careful of with plastic threads is they'll, they get to a point and then they just jump and then that's it. They're knackered forever. That's okay. Brilliant. Well done. Okay. So you've done the electrical connections and that's screwed down. The gel coat we can't rub down at the moment because it's still a little soft. Um, you've put the water inlet on, so now we've got to put the water outlet from the pump, and that then goes up to that one there. Okay, so in order to judge how long that pipe is going to be, we need to spray this down. Yeah, well, we can do that. Rub it down, and way. yeah, I'm not going to do it now. Um, Right, in order to judge how long that piece of pipe exactly has got to be, we need to bolt the pedestal back on to there, and then we can cut the pipe exactly the right length, tidy everything up. Cindy's got three of the base bolts done up there. This is the most difficult one. And it's right around the back, and that bolts the pedestal down. To the pump unit. Got those big plastic spaces on there because obviously the pedestal is ceramic. You don't want the stainless steel bolts going straight to the ceramic. Otherwise, you could have a problem. So, what has it got with the um, Well, you can't run it dry. You must put water in there. That's it. Well done, darling. Excellent, well done, babe. <laughs> Defeated at the end, I can't get the tape open. You've done everything else, but you can't undo the tape. It's a new roll, that's why. Just wants taping sort of up out the way. And here we are in sunny Turkey. It's been raining for a couple of days. Um, my back is not better, but much better than it was. Um, got some painkillers and some muscle relaxants from the local hospital. Um, I'm going for an MRI scan tomorrow and hopefully uh, that will come back with no issues. I seem to think it's a, mass, a muscle in spasm. It's causing the back pain. But meanwhile, I can't sit around and do nothing. So, madam here, uh, we've, got, we've got to make some sun blinds. Um, for the back of the boat. We, we made these ones here for the sides uh, last year. can't remember what episode it's in, but we made those ourselves. We have a bit of a problem with our bimini, and if I show you what it is, that is the glass plastic that we look through for trimming the sails. The two things have happened. One is it's got 
Sahara dust in it and we just can't get it out. We've tried all sorts of things to, to try and get it out, polish it out. It's not working. The other thing is I pulled it a bit too hard and just pulled that stitch out there, which means when it rains, we get little drips of water through. Now, we've got all the stuff to repair it, put new glass in, but the, the local uh, upholster guy is so good and so reasonably priced compared with uh, the rest of Europe. We're actually gonna get him to do it and he's gonna put a bigger hatch in there, bigger window, sorry, in there, just slightly bigger in both le length and breadth and a new cover. We've got the spare material for that here. So we're gonna take this down now and give it to him. You can see that our spray hood here, the clears are very dirty because we've had a lot of rain, but generally they clean up really well. Um, I think we've done a video on how to clean them. In fact, I know we have. I'll see if I can put a link to it in the description. But we're gonna clean these off and then we're gonna have two zips put in. One down this side and one down that side. And that will enable us to um, lift the center section of the of the spray hood up and air will then come through when we're at anchor because otherwise we have to keep putting the spray hood up and down which is a pain in the backside. So we're going to clean these up and then we're going to take the spray hood off. Um, he's going to put two zips in it so that we can roll that center section up and then what we're going to do is we're going to clean it all down both inside and outside and then reproof it with uh, some fab seal and obviously we've got our cushions and lines and everything thrown up underneath and our our boot box thrown up underneath the spray hood because it's been raining um, and it's due to rain in a couple of days time so we'll have to take those downstairs and the downstairs is an absolute mess because we're doing something with the um, four peak cabin as well maybe I'll show you that in another video but uh, yeah so that's what we've got to do take this down first let's uh, let's jump to it as they say I'm holding on if almost gone someday I know I finally make it through the gates just have to wait you whisper to me While you're busy washing that, I'm going to show the viewers these. So we got the idea of these from Sailing Feral. Um, so they're little LED lamps with a motion sensor on them and a solar panel on the back. You put them on deck or on top of the bimini or at the back of the boat. They charge up during the day and then at night they light up pretty bright. So I have shown you this before but just to refresh your memories we've wiped this down now since wiped it down taken all the dirt off <clears throat> but it's still showing signs of mess muck murk oh uh, good quality marine polish is what we use now you can buy Starbright I think do a, a cleaning medium specifically for clears I haven't tried it I've heard it works quite well. Starbite products do seem to work pretty well and we're not sponsored by them. Don't get any kickbacks. But, small foam pad, 
proper polish and just work your way well, it's a whole lot better but there's still bits I've missed on the outside I'll have to get you to um, point them out to me darling There's scratches through the middle where it yeah. folds up, but I think that's just about as good as we're going to get it. Seven years old, I don't think we can complain. Well, there's a comparison before and after, certainly a lot clearer. Uh, there we are, boom tent up. Give us a bit of protection. What say you, missus? While that lot's all off. Well there we are, all the canvases down and we've got our temporary boom tent up. In the next video we'll show you hopefully how the canvases turned out. Thanks for watching guys, sail safe.